live to talk about it tonight. They were pulled from a life raft in 10 to 15 foot seas after sending an electronic distress signal earlier this morning. Survival suits kept them warm and their life raft kept them out of the frigid water. They were plucked from the ocean by a rescue swimmer lowered from a Coast Guard helicopter. No one was seriously hurt when it was all finished. It's not clear what caused the fishing boat to sink. And now, WB11 weather with Mr. G. All right, everybody, just check the latest computer guidance, and there are two computer runs coming in right now as I speak, and they're still going for light snow developing around here Thursday night. Snow is likely on Friday. It's going to end Friday night, but they're beginning to lift the amounts. We'll talk about it. Outside the Midtown area on a dry night and a pretty night at 27 humidity, 37 northwest, 10 split high and low, 37, and 27 the normal this time of year should be right around 38 degrees. Do you like the... 28 and 23 in White Plains. Skip it over to Allentown, Trenton, Wrightstown, Belmar, Newark, Houdino, and Andover. Everybody, water goes frozen. And again, across the Ohio Valley, the cold air is reinforcing. Now, for tonight, it's a long on the fireplace. Three blankets, not a big deal. But a storm is beginning to brew, and you can see it across the southwest. This is a feed of moisture just flying out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now the cloud line into central Virginia. Also, you can see the rain beginning to peak its nose into the lower Gulf of Mexico and snow across the Ohio Valley, and that's trending in our direction. The cold air once again is intact. The mild air will go up and over the cold air, and snow will break loose here in a hurry, and that's going to be on Friday. And, and Friday. Now, this is what the computers are doing. They're sending the high across the Ohio Valley for tonight. We're good. For tomorrow, it's a good-looking day. And now, the track of the storm will be across the Tennessee Valley. But the latest computer is beginning to lift this baby a little further to the north, and that will produce snow around here. And the first guesstimate on this, this is the kind of system with snow amounts that will give us any Anywhere from one to three or two to four inches possible. We'll check on it as we go along. But it goes like this. For the remainder of tonight, I like this cold. The stars are out, a crescent moon, 22 to 27 north and west. Play it in the teens. For tomorrow, sun early, and then thickening clouds in the afternoon. Cirrus clouds, those are Jim's favorite, 31 to 36 degrees. Here's your five-day forecast, and it goes like, why are you smiling? You studied that in the eighth grade, right? I seem to recall something like that, yes. And how many We've years in the fine particular it's cloud? Been a couple of years. How many you years know, in the eighth grade was that. it? <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> sun and clouds. Again, it looks like a snowy Friday for the kids. A couple of inches. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. All right. These are. Uh, this is the cruelest month. On, uh, if you're especially if you're not a basketball no, no, or hockey April. fan in sports, February. <laughs> Sal is going to make it compelling for you nonetheless. That's right.